Well, obviously, uh, again, very similar to the last couple, uh, uh, super disappointing result. But uh, first half, uh, Texas dictated. That second half, uh, certainly a uh, different, uh, different level of uh, intensity defensively. And, and uh, you, know, you know, going back to take the lead, uh, again, just got to do some things better uh, for 40 minutes. No question about that. Texas is awfully good, and, and you can't afford to, to not play 40 minutes against them. We'll go to Bob Prisbilla. Alon, you, you mentioned there's sort of the same story the last three games. Your thoughts on the late game offensive ex, uh, execution? Well, our concerns more. I mean, certainly you gotta you gotta do that. But I thought Alonis was great. You know, he made a uh, ton of good plays. Uh, you know, uh, played uh, like he's been you know, practicing lately, which is great to see. And I think he'll continue doing that. So we're we're super excited for him uh, in that regard. Uh, uh, but again, the first half is where we dug ourselves a hole. We need, uh, you know, just uh, Sims was great. You know, we didn't uh, we didn't uh, make them feel us on the defensive end. Uh, they had uh, kind of freedom to do whatever. And in the second half, again, uh, much better there. And then uh, Lon was Kerr available in in the first half, and how big of a lift did he give you guys in the second half? He was huge in the second half. You know, he uh, he, he changed the game around. You know, no question about that. And. Uh, and again, at times he's done that on the year, and we need uh, we need that for sure. Go to Ryan Aber, and then we'll go to Eric Bailey. Yeah, Lon. First of all, following up on uh, what Bob just asked, uh, why didn't Kirk come into the game until just 12 minutes remain? Well, we went uh, we went with Victor first off the bench, in uh, you know for Brady, and uh, you know with his energy, and uh, you know he's been doing a good job, and uh, and uh, and Kirk. Kerb came off for Brady in the second half and did a terrific job. So, you know, those three guys have been, you know, different guys at different times, have, have played better, have gotten more production, and, uh, you know, and uh, great to see Kerr, you know, get it uh, when he got back in there. What was the, the, the toughest thing about defending uh, Jericho Sims in the first half, and what did you change against him uh, at halftime that allowed you all to be a little bit more successful there? We got better. We got more uh, more activity on the ball in the second half, where the passers weren't able to see quite as clearly and openly as they did in the first half. I didn't think we had much uh, physicality to what we we're doing in the first half, uh, whether it be on uh, you know, Sims in the post or or on the perimeter guys uh, throwing the ball to, to Sims in the post. So uh, I think we just we're just more into them in the second half uh, by far than we were in the first. Appreciate it, Lon. Let's go to Eric, and then we'll go to James Hale. Elon, I just wanted to ask you about defensive efficiency, and it seems like these last few games you just hadn't had the same type of defensive numbers you had early. Is that uh, becoming a concern, or is it something that can be correctable? We've got to correct it for sure. Uh, again, I think it's to the point where you know we're not getting for 40 minutes, so we got to we got to treat each possession you know like we did most of those in the second half. I thought the guys were terrific in the second half. We uh, didn't play that way in the first, so we've got to figure out how to get that uh, for 40 minutes and uh, keep working at it. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, there's uh, on one hand a lot of basketball left to play, and on the other hand, it's, it's winding up quickly. So we've got to uh, you know do things with a little bit more urgency from the start. I also wanted to ask you about this break you're going to have before the Big 12 tournament. Is, is it good to get away from it and work on practice, work on fundamentals and get ready for postseason? Or do you almost feel good that you don't have a game on Saturday, that you can kind of take a little break and step back and reset things? But certainly extra extra days to work uh, is great. Absolutely. Uh, we need to, to clean things up. Uh, you know, uh, love that opportunity. And uh, guys will do, uh, do that uh, with three or four days of practice. Uh, thanks a bunch. Yep. Let's go to James and Abby Bitterman. You know, Lon, um, you know, the, your personnel, you've mixed and maxed all year. Uh, you know, do you think in the future, the way Kerr really boosted what you had right there, Manic really gave you a lot earlier. Can you play those guys together down the stretch here if you, if you need to? It'd be awfully difficult to, to, to do that and, uh, and, and get the activity that, we, that we've had on the perimeter, you know, uh, in terms of guarding the ball. Most, most teams in the league right now are, you know, Texas is an exception because they're just so big everywhere, you know, right. with, uh, with right. Brown in there. Uh, but Brown and Jones and, and Sims and uh, all those guys are huge. So uh, uh, a little bit more size there than, than most teams will play against. Most play four guards around one, and, uh, and uh, we've got to be able to, you know, uh, guard regardless of, of who's out there. Okay, thanks. 
Let's go to Abby. Juan, with the team being at such a high, you know, before um, this four game slide, just how do you keep um, the, the energy and the um, kind of spirit up um, with those guys after, so, after four tough losses in a row like this? Well, the, the results are certainly different in this last week than we had before. I don't know that our play is a lot different. You know, I mean, it's uh, we won some ball games. Uh, we won all those one possession games. You know, the three weeks prior to these last ten days, uh, uh, these ten days we haven't. You know, it's just a matter of that's uh, that's uh, uh, the margin is small, and uh, just one play here, one play there. Uh, we're not. I don't think we're playing much differently than we did when we had won seven out of eight. You know, we've uh, you know, got to finish games, you know, differently. And those games we did finish, these games we haven't. But uh, we've got to play better for 40 minutes regardless. Also wanted to ask, um, just in a season where there haven't been, you know, a lot of fans very often, it seemed like um, the crowd uh, and their intensity was giving um, the team a, a bit of a boost when they were making that run to take the lead in the second half. Just what did you think of that, uh, that crowd participation tonight? Absolutely. It, it was great. And, uh, and all the home games have been. Uh, they've been uh, really, really good, uh, appreciated by the players and everyone for sure. Uh, yeah, the crowd was great. Uh, gave us a big lift and uh, I thought uh, guys were spurred on by that.